and welcome back. Like I promised, we will be putting in some warthogs. But before we do that, I realized I forgot something. What in the eyesore is this? Huh? What is this? We did the building, we did the roof, we did the doors. What? So before we do any kind of warthogging, let's fix this. Copy. There we go. Copy disting. Plop. Plop. Move them a little bit further back, not quite as aggressively next to the toilet. Poop and leave! Grab some limestone. Short wall, short wall, short wall. Up, up, up. I mean, that's kind of weird looking. I don't have it anywhere else, but I also kind of like it. Yep, we're doing it. Ooh, I know what I wanna do. Now that that looks satisfactory, let us get on with the warthogs. Now, I want to have the keepers responsible for the warthogs working in here, but I actually think I might have to expand this place. Can we just move it out there? Okay. There's only one staff room in here. Actually, let's give these guys a PR course because I really just want these people to have that staff room and then I want the keepers, I think, in another staff room. And then give you guys the rec room. So then I'm gonna grab these two pieces, move them out there. Actually, I'm gonna do the same with that one. Extend the path. Can we just thank you? So the question is, where do I put a keeper hut? I could potentially put one here and then put another one over here for the other habitat, but then... So that is for those guys. This is for the warthogs. And we can now move the roof back. And also put a roof on that. Boop, 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 boop. Let us grab a barrier. I like starting out with the null barrier because I get a lot more leeway regarding where I place it, including on top of paths. And I like making my own barriers anyway. Put a door here. Oh, and I put up a fancy thingy here and a fancy thingy here. I just basically grabbed these, copied, and flipped them upside down. 
because I figure if you're sitting here trying to relax while your kids are on the playground, you want to like not have them run off if possible. Yeah, see, this is what happens always. I say I'm gonna do one thing and then I do four things at the same time. What a throne. Okay, back to the warthogs. Before we do anything, do I have any warthogs? Yeah, this is obviously from a zoo where I've been breeding these guys for a while. Let's see if we can find them a decent male. Warthogs are really easy to breed. So, there are usually quite a few on here at an affordable price. 92 92 So the bottom two really don't matter if you're trying to get excellent genes on them. Because they can vary wildly from one generation. So this is 192. And even though the fertility is much lower, the species has an insanely high fertility. So this guy's actually a better bet. Of course, he has even higher fertility and the immunity basically doesn't matter. So, while the chance of conception would probably be the same for these two, this guy could potentially have maybe four babies instead of three. And I want all the babies I can get. So then I will actually build while it's still in pause. Should I play? What's happening up here? I can say hi to a bunch of people. Grilled cheese nine. I wonder if that means there were eight other grilled cheeses. I want to know if anyone else is called grilled cheese. Please tell me and also why. Okay. I want some kind of barrier for the warthogs. The question is, do we continue with this one? I think we do. So the thing with these grid pieces is if you double, triple, whatever, mega click it, you're marking it as part of the group. So then when you copy and you move it around, you're moving it on the grid because it's still in the same group as the original one. If instead you just click on it once and then copy it, then you can move it around independently of the group because what you did was copy the entire group, which is then on its own grid. Nah, look at these little guys! I know I'm easily distracted, but seriously. <laughs> and look at the face. And I'm gonna place it a little further in because we don't want anyone trying to pet a warthog. I know they don't actually try to touch the animals in game, but in real life that could potentially happen. And I want this to look a bit realistic, so I'm gonna do the same thing as I did in other places, and, um, no, nah, not those. Because th th this fence over here, this fence is tall enough that you cannot reach in. So I don't need the people keep out fence. But over here, if these people were right up against this fence, especially over here, they'd be able to reach in and, like, try to pet a hippo, which is a super, super bad idea. So this is when I exit the group, exit the thing, and I just copy the whole group, which is only one object. And then I plop that object down. And I do that again. Over here. And to avoid flickering, I lower it just a teeny tiny bit. And then the next one, instead of lowering it, I bring it back up to where the first one was. No, you know what? I changed my mind. Undo, undo, undo. Because the savanna area is gonna be out here. And what I want is a different type of barrier between the little warthogs and the savanna. So what am I gonna do about the backside? Am I gonna do this fence? Am I gonna do this fence? Am I gonna do a wall? Well, I'm gonna do a wall that I learned about in... Whose YouTube video was that? One of the people who do the Koali Zoo did this really awesome thing that they actually learned from someone else else, where you take this one and then you just turn it upside down and recolor it to what we want and then you copy it 
and it looks like this sort of muddy clay wall merge into group like that and i'm just gonna grab the entire thing and use the other side for the next part Okie dokie, now these are all saved as individual groups. No, that is suboptimal. Two of them can be smushed that way. Um, yeah, this, this is uh, gonna need some. And there we have our, right now, rainy day warthog habitat. They still need some kind of shelter. Put a slightly taller stone wall here. Maybe grab one of these things. I can also just extend this roof. Put angle snap back on. Wait, what? What was that? Who said what? Oh, has had what? My artworks have died of dehyd. No, no. You have water. You don't have water. This is why I don't use these. Oh no. No, 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 babies. Oh, I, I literally, I actually, like, actually feel bad. I want the first thing I'm gonna do is just make a little pond in here to make sure that your your babies are better off. I know they're just pixels, but still, I really do wish we had more water heights because this just looks. Oh, actually, let me just you know I can use these rocks to show myself how far down I need the soil. Move the water and then start pushing down the soil. Get some rock and soil in here and put some water in there. And make sure by checking traversable area that you can still get to the water. Yes, you can. I'm so sorry. Oh, I no, don't like it. The art farms are my favorite animals, and they're like... It's perfectly happy being alone, or just living with its dead parents, I guess. I'm gonna put memorials for them on these, on, I think, this wall. The poor little guys. I'm sad. How long does it take to quarantine a pig? Wart. Hogs. Quarantine complete. I think the, no the notifications are glitchy. Nobody told me about my artworks, and nobody told me about the pigs being out of quarantine. And there they are! Look at them! Check the traversable area to make sure, yes. So the terrain needs some work, and they need more plants, but they're gonna stay in here. And before I do anything else, I'm gonna make sure these little suckers have water. And see, warthogs don't need to be able to swim, but they do swim if you give them the chance. It looks really cute, so. And I'm making sure that my pond is not a circle. If you can make it sort of bean-shaped or heart-shaped, that just tends to look a lot more natural. This water is going to be cleaned, the artvark's water is going to be cleaned, and- Piggy! You want more short grass. We can do that. Do do do, putting in some short grass. Yes, okay, so you would actually be okay with this a little more rock in the pond, which gives me a little more leeway with the dirt. Okay, and then you want more plants. You want- African grassland and tropical plants.
just at the bottom of their acceptable. I like that because that means I can put down a lot more stuff. Tamarin! I like these guys so much. Especially since I know the little piggies like Tamarin scratching post. Actually, let's just do some enrichment. I know, again, with the jumping back and forth between things. Jumping to giving them something to sleep on. Here we go. It's, now, this hay looks like it's directly on the ground. Which is because it is. That's better. Now the hay doesn't look like it's going to get wet. Habitat. Species. Enrichment. Food. You like this one. Over here, so the keepers don't have to walk quite as far. Here. And you can have one more there. Toys! Yes. The scratching tree. And we just have like four trees in a square and it looks dumb. There. That too looks dumb. Suppose we can put it out here and then maybe add one more tree somewhere. There we go. Go into terrain. Flint that foundation. Just to get the edge, pull some of the surrounding area up even further so I don't get that weird looking ridge around it. A bit more of this. Habitat! Mod bath! Yes! We're gonna have to do some rock work around that edge. Again, lifting it up to the same foundation. You are the one I am looking for because you kind of have the same color as the mud. If I just put down a tropical rock as a rock, that make the other rocks look less like rocks and more like mud. I mean, not, not really. One more savanna rock. Now remember, this is not stone, this is mud, which means we can definitely have grass growing in it. That makes complete sense. That'll do. Environment is good. Enrichment is good. For now, I am probably about as happy with this habitat as the little piggies are. <gasps> that was fast! No! Unica and a little gray baby and another little gray baby? <laughs> we just put you guys in here and you have three babies already. This is awesome. Well, while these piggies enjoy their happy piggy lives, I'm just gonna say bye. <laughs>